Hey guys, what's going on? Sapphire here and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War Darth Mod Campaign. And in this episode we will be taking Helsinki from the Russians. Uh, but going to start off by ending the episode. Everything that I need to do, do is done in the end of the last episode. Um, as I mentioned, we will probably be getting attacked by Denmark and Russia in this episode. I expect they'll be attacking, or Denmark will be besieging Lublin and Russia will be besieging Kaffa. Um, we are on the verge of beating the Polish. They've only got one more turn left for their capital to surrender from the siege we've been waking on them. Um, and we will also be getting a military force on the move towards Moscow because Moscow is pretty well undefended at the moment. So we're going to be trying to take advantage of that and gaining a new city as well from the Russians. And as predicted, Lublin is now under siege. Luckily, I recruited an additional axeman, archer, and cavalry unit. Sacked the city of Th or the castle of Thorn, so that should be the Polish out of the game. Thank God for that. The war with Poland has finished. So we are now only at war with Russia and Denmark. And actually, being at war with Denmark opens up this entire northern province to us as well, which would be pretty cool. So, faction destroyed Poland. Settlement besieged Lublin. Death stalks the land in Estergom. Ready to trade. Uh, where am I going to put this dude? 112. Egypt, city ready to upgrade to Russ. Well, seeing as you don't even have dirt roads, I'm not going to upgrade you yet. Istok of Trogir. Uh, An honor to serve, my lord. Get him over here. Set watches. We rest here, man. Mm, France has been excommunicated. Relations with France is poor. Right, we built a fair few things. Right, Krakow. Let's get a better armorer. Considering you're like going to be a main, s you're going to be a main city when I go to war with the Holy Roman Empire. So I kind of need to upgrade their armor. Don't like the fact that the Holy Roman Empire has an army just sitting there. So let's get some extra troops. My king. I'll do with my garrison in Thorn in a second. Smolensk. Um, I don't really need to do anything with Smolensk, to be perfectly honest. I just can. I'll. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna save my money. I don't really need to build anything there at the moment. Right. Let's upgrade the armor there. Get some baluster towers around Constantinople. Small church at Novgorod. Let's get blacksmith. Corinth has repaired the chapel. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so now the garrison at Thorn. Pretty big. Um, there's a lot of city troops in there. I might actually. Hmm, can I get any of them back to there oh, in one turn? I can't. So if I recruit. I'm not gonna recruit anyone then, so let's get Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. These guys over here. And march. We go no further this day. These guys Order. down to Krakow. Orders, my king. My lord. My lord. Of course. Garrison at Thorn is pretty well reduced now, but I'm going to be focusing castle units there to get the free upkeep. So, My king. artillery units we're going to yes. keep hold of. My king. Let's recruit some hussars and we'll get rid of. My lord. Can I re re retrain the dismounted knights? I can. Excellent. So we'll start retraining and recruiting our own troops in this castle. What they'll do is, or what I'll do is I'll split the, I'll build a really big garrison here. And what I'll do is I'll split it into two armies. I can recruit a new general's bodyguard in six turns. So what I'll do is I'll recruit one there. 
and then do one 10 unit army to attack Danzig, one 10 unit army to attack Stettin. And that will be my invasion force from Thorn taking two places in one go. Uh, right, so let's get these troops over here. Oh, we're not be able to take God it this turn. Damn. We march to battle. Oh, it's just a peasant army there. There's... Don't need to recruit any additional mercenaries or anything like that to help out. Yes, my king. So what I'll do is I'll build a watchtower here. That should allow me to bring my spy over this way, and we can still see Moscow. Good. So we can keep an eye on the garrison at Suzdal at the same time. Uh, oh, they did not attack Kaffa. Okay. It will be an honor to defeat you, dear foe. Yes. Your will, my king. Um, whose time is up? Get rid of the Byzantine merchant. Ah! Good thing that pe that assassinating people doesn't actually As cost us anything. My king. Yes, my king. Stopping here, lord. I should probably bring him... Or did Who I recruit another target? assassin somewhere? Uh, so we have... My that guy. Who is my that target? one and... My king. Ah, there he is. He was, he was right, right there the whole time and I didn't even Who see him. Or what? Ah! As you wish. Try and cripple some of the uh, other faction's trade income. We are wow, you've got a big navy there. Jeez. I have no navy, to be honest. Yes, my king. Aha! 937 men against 923. They have no artillery units. I have three archers and four axemen, plus my hussars. They are going to get screwed, particularly when they have two peasants trying to take it. Oh, it's the king as well. King Ragnvald. Ragnvald. Right. King of the Danes. Time to meet your doom. Time to say hello to Odin, I think. I don't think they actually f believed in the, um, their old Norse gods at this point in medieval history. I don't think they did. I don't think they did. They got peasants pulling the first set of uh, the first battering ram. Okay. All my infantry is going to be down by the gate, so I'll just fill up the walls with my archers. And as we know, archers are going to be a lot better at shooting enemies from the walls than my crossbows were. So it's that unit, that unit, and that unit. And then my cavalry will put on either side. Ah. The hussar looks interesting. Cool. I've not actually seen hussars in battle. That's a pretty cool outfit. Right.
We've got a ladder at the background and a siege tower as well. They've got all their troops right at the back. I don't see the point in that. I'm about to wipe out all their peasant troops as well. I'm going to try something a bit bold here. Well, honestly, I don't need to do this. At least the gate shuts. Let's go take care of those peasants quick. Rawr. Probably going to shoot some of our own troops with our towers, but we can just take care of these peasants and make them forget about bringing the ram up. What we got coming this way? Norse swordsmen on the move. Their cavalry doesn't seem to care that I'm just killing off their peasants, so that's fine. Okay, you just charged on through and missed. Nice. Oh, you just got pitchforked. Oh, you're about to get pitchforks as well. Now that it's a bit more open when we fight the peasants. Oh, he's going at it by himself. He's getting stabbed all over the place, though. You are outnumbered, my friend. You will not survive. Yep, he died. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It is time for butcher's work. Surprised these peasants haven't died off much yet. Shoot them. Ha! Yeah. Swords, men, swords. Come on, Bosnian archers.
Why aren't these peasants breaking yet? Jeez. Two left. One left. Has reached our walls. May God keep our swords sharp. Kill him. There we go. Uh oh. Damn it! Our axemen are trapped outside. <laughs> They're being shot at by by the uh, swordsmen. Luckily, there's only 73 of them. Enemy reinforcements are on the move as well towards us. I may need to get some more troops outside. I did say this was a bit of a bold plan. <laughs> ah, the next gate is all the way over there. Troops get outside. Reinforcements, men. Reinforcements. that way. Bypass the swordsman. Once we get far enough away from the uh, gate, it should shut. There we go. Coming this way. Viking Raiders. Uh oh. Hazars, let's send you out this way. Let's get some Hazars out there. Uh, Bosnian archers are doing okay on the wall. They can hold out. Looks like those Viking Raiders may be trying to go for the new reinforcements that I sent out. This is turning out to be a very interesting battle. Any additional reinforcements coming? No, the cavalry staying where it is. So that's fine by me. Uh oh. Let's get an Axeman unit up on the wall. They're not actually doing very well anymore. <laughs> they were doing okay, but they're not anymore. Hazards right. move forward. And charge. Because they're all gr grouped together, we should pretty much wipe out most of those peasants. There we go. Look at that. Didn't lose any cavalry in that charge either. Right. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Cavalry, get around there. This is a bit of a venture. <laughs> I should have stayed inside the walls, but this is much more fun. <laughs> this is much more exciting. All right, let's get these archers. Let's tell them to hold fire for the moment. And what we'll do is we'll group them up at one end of the wall. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's all ten of them there. Just shoot them, please. Right. 
We'll just retreat these gr this group of 66 because they've been in the fight long enough, I think. Keeping an eye on the main map for the enemy general and stuff, though. Enemy cavalry. Right. All you through, all three of you units, get inside, please. Ah, oh, we shot all ten of those peasants, did we? Nope, there is only eight of them left, but they ran away. Oh, we can actually win. Awesome. 99 men, 99 men lost to 706. Okay. Well, the enemy general didn't actually get involved. The only reason it's told us we can win this now is because the obviously the cavalry can't take control of the siege equipment. So, um, I will be nice to the Danes. This is our first proper engagement, so I will be nice to you. But I will not be so merciful the next time, my friend. Oh, well done, Portugal. You survived. To be fair, they had two armies, though, but still. The fact that there's like a there's a jihad against Cordoba. Is it Cordoba? Is it a, is it a jihad against Cordoba? Yeah, there's there's no crusade going on, so it's... Yeah. So, something's affected. King Berta the Killer. It's because of my assassination exploits. Oh, Sicilian army, what are you doing? Oh, you're allies with the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, I was going to say, what are you doing? You going to war with the Holy Roman Empire? Ooh, Transylvanian peasants. And they have large halberds, by the looks of things. I'll take a couple of those. Just for fun. So Corinth can upgrade. But I'm going to be focusing on population happiness there first before I do any kind of upgrades to the city. Uh, Targovist, you need some population happiness as well. Let's get that. Thessalonica. I know that Ocrid has one as well. I just accidentally clicked Thessalonica first. Um... So I should actually upgrade the city in Ocrid. You might as well build that. Seems we've not got enough money left. An honor, my king. Proudly, my king. Roman Stop Empire and overlap. Denmark are now at war with each other. And Denmark has been excommunicated. Okay, so what if I try to call a crusade against the Danes? Well, the French had got loads of places against them. Vilnius. Yeah, there's a crusade. Right, now I need troops. <laughs> now I need the troops. Uh, well, seeing as Krakow's right there. Seeing as I've got a couple of catapult units there, I might as well send yeah. this general north, take the troops from Krakow. I don't know. Let's see how things go. Battle of Lublin was a bit closer than I was thinking of. Well, the fighting outside the gate was closer than I expected anyway. And I, just, I currently have plans at, you know, defeating the Russians first, so... Perhaps serve. I shouldn't have called that crusade. Now that I've got some money, I might as well build... God has that. Delivered us um, unto victory. We praise God right, the way to do this is do that. <coughs> Excuse me. We just cross those down to one person to worry about. Get a couple of catapults. I find the catapults are more accurate than the tre than trebuchets, even though the trebuchets do more damage. Cool. We shall hear you out. Your time was most at once. Who is my target? My king, name the target. Who or what offends you, my king? On hmm. my way. Sire, 
moving it. Yes, Lord. Without question, my lord. Alright. So move the general north to Krakow, take the army from Krakow, go into the crusade. Maybe march north towards one of these river crossings. Try and entice them to come and attack us. Yes. That should open up the ability to uh, take the castle. May God expose the unclean, my king. Who is my target? That's the last the merchant in our province. Oh. In any of our provinces, actually, by the looks of things. Cool. Yes, my king. My king. As you wish. On my way. As you wish. Right. I look forward to four fight. units. I'm honored, my king. Yes. God be with us, men. We march to crossbows. Battle. Easy. An honor to serve, my lord. So we we'll head back honor. to Novgorod. Take the mercenaries. Right, let's move some. My king, my lord. Some yes. of these. Oh, I haven't got enough money to recruit any replacements. Okay, we'll wait till next turn before I move some troops from Minsk towards Moscow. Right. Let's get rid of some of these mercenaries. Yes. Get rid of those two axemen and yes. replace them with that, those units. Awesome. Join the crusade. Well, thank you for giving me that mission because that's actually what I was going to do. Holy Roman Empire, Kingdom of Castile, and Sicily have all joined the crusade. Yes, my king. We march, my king. I'll take my all king. but two crossbows. My lord, Land, march. Combining troops. And ah, the disease is still there. Damn. I was going to move some troops over to Krakow, but. Well, let's move a spear unit Walter over to Krakow just to help out there. An honor to serve, you join the crusade. You can get crusader knights. That's pretty cool. My king. Yes. Head north. Yes, my king. You head south. With honor. An honor, my king. Yes, my lord. My king. Orders, my king. My lord. Yes. Forming one force. Orders, my king. Right, let's get population happiness back up again over here. Most advanced faction is Egypt. Strongest faction is me. Coming of age, Kawaz of Koros. You're gonna get ill. Andres of Otto. Andre oh, Andras Otto. Your will Might as well stay there. That guy's pretty old now. Whose time is up? Who or what? Don't like having a Venetian assassin around. You, my king. Oh, damn. Approaches. 5% chance of failing and we and it happened. Sicily and Kingdom of Castile are at war with Denmark now. Uh Corinth 
build that. Still need to get population happiness up. Excellent. On tomorrow. Yes, my king. Wait, if none of those three are the capital, then where's the where is the capital? Sire. Moving into position. Spy, we need to get moving. Very ah, Bolga, there's a fourth place. That's a Russian fortress. That's not the capital. So there's another one as well. Interesting. Okay. So we are on 31 out of 60. So 32, 33, 34, 35. Somewhere down here is another one. So, so 36 is somewhere along here. Oh, hello. Looks like you guys have got this under control. <laughs> Who is my oh target? boy. My king. And what is it you would propose, noble one? Right. I'm getting in alliance with the Henry Empire for the moment, which I know is not exactly is it's a, it's against what we need, but and here's my reasoning. When we finish the war with Russia, we're still gonna be able with Denmark, so we can obviously divert a load of our resources towards that war that's fine uh, that'll keep us busy for a while um but what i want to be able to do is to be able to give myself enough time to <coughs> excuse me to get troops over from the eastern provinces to the western ready for when we do go to war with the holy roman empire and having an alliance with the holy roman empire for the moment sh will give us that little bit extra time now i know the ai will sometimes attack you without any justification even if you are allies they will sometimes just attack you and declare war and then alliance breaks down obviously and everything like that so if even though so you know that even though that happens it'll it's less likely to happen if we have an alliance compared to if i stayed neutral with the holy roman empire the holy roman, eh, holy roman empire may see me as a threat when i defeat russia and when i've gained all of that land they may see me as a, a bit of a bully the amount of provinces i have the size of my faction that sort of thing so they may end up going to war with me and if i do that if, if they do that when they're neutral they, they've obviously got more justification if we're allies they have less justification less likely to attack me gives me a little bit more time to prepare and then when I'm ready, I can cancel the alliance. A few turns later, I can go to war with them. So, you know, it's it's all part of a plan to gradually get um, myself ready for when I decide to go to war with the Holy Roman Empire. Now, I could either move some troops over from the um, from the eastern provinces to the west, or I could just expand them and recruit new ones in the, in the west. But I would like to get some troops from the east to the west because they'll obviously have experience. It'll make the battles a lot better. It'll be, it'll make things a lot more quicker when I come to conquering places. So, you know, there is reasoning behind my madness. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys can see it and you can understand why I would get a brief alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. And I mean brief, it's not going to be a permanent thing. I need to take Riga as well before one of those two takes it. So, I might send... While they've got Vilnius under siege, I may send my Crusader army north past Vilnius to Riga. And quickly take that so that neither the Holy Roman Empire nor the Kingdom of Castile takes that. It's something I should have gone, I should have diverted some troops towards for a long time ago, and I just didn't, I just didn't get around to doing it. Assassin's Guild, sure, why not? Still got death stalking the land in. Oh, Esther Gom's finished. Yay! Right, retrain the troops, and now I have two princes, uh, two generals I can send to various places. So. I need one general in, Pin, not Pinesk, in Minsk. So, you, young man, are going to Minsk. And I don't need anybody else. I might need one in Novgorod, so I'll send you this one north to Novgorod. How old's my king? 55. And where's my faction here as well? Uh, 
No, nah, he's in Zagreb. Okay. Cool. That's good. That's just down the road. So that's fine. Right. You, sir. Yes, my king. Yes. Oh, we should have Face me in the open. gone it to the river crossing. Watches. Crap. We rest here, man. Oops. Crap, that was my fault. Damn it. Um, there's not exactly enough mercenaries for me to recruit over here either. Oh, shoot. My lord. My king. Your will, my king. My lord. Maybe if I put an army there, there might... Might keep them busy over there. My king, forward, men, march. My king, order, forward. Damn, these people are not happy. My lord. Maybe I can do, you know, distract the enemy over here. I don't know. Yes, my king. Orders, my king. Your will, my king. Yes. My king. Yes. My king. Forward, my king. My lord. Of course. Joining forces. Right. There's a lot of micromanagement going on, so I do apologize for that. Yes, my king. Setting a keen watch here. Uh, garrison of Moscow has grown since the last time we saw it. My king, moving into position, moving quietly. Looks like roads are heading this way, so maybe there's something up here. Unfortunately, I don't know the map that too well in that direction. Excellent work. Whose time is up? Oh wow! Five percent chance of failure, and he got. Killed in it. That's the second target. time he's done that in a row. As Holy, you wish. jeez, damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Yes, my king. Oh, damn it as well. Why is everything going wrong? No. I, whose time is up? Who or what offends you, my king? The target, please. Is yeah, I got one of them. Yes, very good, Lord. Moving quietly, very good, Lord. Uh, did I recruit any other spies or anything over this way? I don't think I did. Rest is rioting. Vilnius has fallen to the Kingdom of Castile. So there's a random yellow province in our way. Mm. Slightly annoying, but never mind. So Vilnius will not be part of our kingdom. At least not yet. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll end up going to war with them. Okay, so the Danes didn't attack us. That's fine. Look! Excuse me. Blockade the port of that place. All right. Do I have ships? I do have ships. 
my lord. Anchor away. All right. We continue tomorrow. Orders, my lord. Orders, my king. Your will, my king. My king. Yes. An honor to serve, my lord. Proudly, my king. At your service. You have a proposition for us, noble. They're already our allies. I am afraid I must deny you today. You have further proposals? Very well, we are almost. Huh? Night reject. Okay, you are fine. Very Screw you. Farewell. Uh, Constantinople's got that, okay. I saw that, I saw one of, uh, <coughs> sorry, I saw an indicator that there was a Death stalks the land thing. I can't see it though. It's not in my capital anymore. An honor, my king. Orders, my king. Move on. An honor to serve, my king. Joining our armies, my king. Right. Large Russian army. Um. What else? Do not address me. I answer to a higher lord. Sire, moving quietly. Very good, Lord. Ah, there's the capital, Ryazan. It's a castle right there. Okay, then. God's servant. 56 pink Catholic over there. Get As over there, priest. My king. Oh. Name you died. Not, who is my target? Ah! He died. Good. Whose time is up? Yes, my king. Your will, my king. An order. Once this I'm army gets to Riga and we take it, I'm probably going to disband half of them. Turn. So this will be the last turn. The last turn flip. For this episode. died from natural causes you dead oh the general is the one who's dying off right okay well don't go into that city just yet then just sort of stand around near it resting the troops here Zagreb so much stuff to buy so little money Um. 
awesome. Papal states in France are at war with each other. And Portugal and France are now allies as well. My lord. Yes. My king. Orders my king. Yes. My lord. Let's get rid of those. An honor, my king. My king. Moving quietly. My lord. My king. Oh, that army. The Moorish yes, army's gone. King. Get on, on that trade. Way. Yes. Setting up a trade. Da. Oh, the Russians own this place as well, Trezabond. Oh, they expanded down this way. The war with Russia is going to be raging on for a while then. Damn. I thought we were really making progress in, in the yes, war and, you know, we were going to be Forward. winning this soon, but yes. it's going to be it's carrying on for a while. I mean, there's no, there's nothing to tell me that I need to defeat Russia as a, as a uh, victory condition. Still though. Yes. Very good lord. Sire. Yes. Very good lord. In time. Yes, my king. Uh. On my way. God's servant. Excellent stuff. But with this uh, with the castle of Tula under our control and the ability for us to build Things like Pavis Spearmen and uh, the Axemen and things like that. We should be well on our way to... Uh, let's get some, an artillery building as well. We should be well on our way to be able to take these castles. Sarkel and Ryazan. We have an army about to head south to Moscow to take that as well. So We're doing alright. We're doing alright. It's just a case of trying to find out where else Russia owns. We've expanded quite a bit southwards towards... Uh, this direction. Who is my target? The target oh That's my god, my assassins are dying left, right, I and center. You no Stop dying, people. <laughs> right. Yes, my king. Yes. Be ready to move in the morning, man. Cool. Okay, so next turn, we should be about ready to um, take Riga. We should be taking Riga next turn. And we should also be attacking Moscow as well. So the war with Russia will be raging on. We are on 31 out of 60 regions. We're doing pretty well. The campaign will be going on quite strong, I think. So thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. And I will see you in the next one.